Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Good News Sunday Show. My name is Sonia McCullough Lockridge and I am your host. And welcome. It is Sunday evening, February 27th, and we are in the midst of our The Importance of Prayer study what I would like to call TIPS, The Importance of Prayer Study. And this is lesson number five, I believe. And currently our main resource is this little jewel of a book, The Doctrine of Prayer by T.J. Not by T.W. Hunt. The Doctrine of Prayer by T.W. Hunt. This is a very, very good book for today. For today, we are going to steer a little bit away from this book for today because last week we spoke about the early church and the place of prayer. And this week, we are going to talk about the early church, and the people of prayer. The early church and the people of prayer. Now back in 2016, I did a personal prayer study for 40 days, and I called it, and I'm looking at my Instagram account, and I titled it Bible Prayer Straight No Chaser or cocktails. And so we are going to go over today some of those people of prayer from that particular study. And we're going to add it to this study. The people of prayer. The early church and the people of prayer. And we are going we're going back to the Old Testament. So we're not only ch talking church, but we're talking temple, we're talking sanctuary, we're talking prior, we're, we're talking about the entire scope of the biblical text, okay? So, first of all, we have Genesis 4, 26, and this is in the King James Version of the text. Gen Genesis 4, 26, and to Seth. To him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call on the name of the Lord. Then began men to call on the name of the Lord. And that is Genesis 4, 26. So that's where biblical prayer begins. Genesis 5.21 reads as follows. And Enoch, I might have to just read it. I can't read this. I might have to just read it out of my Bible. Genesis 5.21, Genesis 5.21 through 24. Genesis 5.21 through 24. And this is the NSB, NASB version of the text. The New American Standard Version of the text. Genesis 5.21. Genesis 5.21. It should not be that hard to follow, y'all. Fine. Should it? Genesis 5.21. Leave it to me. Enoch lived 65 years and became the father of Methusalem. Then Enoch walked with God 300 years after he became the father of Methuselah, and he had other sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. So Enoch walked with God, and then God took him. So, that is Enoch. 
walked with God and God took him. So that is about walking with the Lord. De Exodus 2, 23. Exodus 2, 23. I can't read that one either. I don't can't read that text. From my own Instagram page. Exodus 2, 23. So we're talking about the people of prayer. Exodus 2, 23. So, since we're in the book of Exodus, I wonder who might we be talking about? Who might we be talking about in the book of Exodus 2, 23? Exodus 2, 23. Now it came about in the course of of those many days that the king of Egypt died and the sons of Israel sighed because of the bondage and they cried out and their cry for help because of their bondage rose up to God. So God hear, heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God saw the sons of Israel and God took notice of them. Exodus 2.23. Exodus 2.23. Now let's move on to 1 Samuel 1.1. 1, 1. 1 Samuel 1.1. 1, 1. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid and remember me, and not forget thy handmaid, but will give thee unto thy handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And that is Hannah. That is Hannah in the book of Samuel. People of prayer. Hannah. And this is just a reference of prayer and in, the, in regards to Jesus. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there he prayed. Mark 1.35, this, of course, is speaking of Jesus. So we have, we've talked about Jesus, we've talked about Hannah, we've talked about Moses and his friends, and now we come to Eleazar, Eleazar, Genesis 24, 12, Eleazar. And he said, O Lord, God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham, Eleazar, Eleazar. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and men, and hast prevailed. Genesis 32, 27 through 28. We are now speaking of Jacob. People of prayer, Jacob. Exodus 33:12 Moses Exodus 33:12 Moses and Moses said unto the Lord see thou sayest unto me bring up this people and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me yet thou hast said i know thee by name and thou hast also found grace in my sight now therefore i pray thee if i have found grace in thy sight Show me the way, that I may know thee, 
that I may find grace in thy sight and consider that this nation is thy people. Moses, Exodus 33, 12. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Hannah. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. People of prayer. Hannah. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. Gideon, from the book of Judges, Gideon. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. This is David talking to God. For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee, David. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, in Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and thy, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. 1 Kings 18, 36 through 37, Elijah. Uh oh, taking out the trash. And one of my favorite prayers. And Hezekiah received the letter of the hand of the messenger, and it read, And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, which dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the God, thou alone, all of the kingdoms of the earth, that has made heaven and earth. Lord, bow down thine ear and hear. Open, Lord, thine eyes and see, and hear the words of Sinitra, well, I forgot how to pronounce his name. Which thou hast sent to reproach the living God of a true Lord, the king of Assyria, hath destroyed the nations and their land and have cast their gods into the fire, for they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore, they have destroyed them. Now, therefore... O Lord, our God, I beseech thee, save thou us out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God, even thou only. Now thou art the Lord God, even thou only. Hezekiah, Hezekiah, from 2 Kings. And Asa cried unto the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy name we go against this multitude. O Lord, thou art our God. Let not man prevail against thee. Asa, from Second Chronicles. Now we come to Nehemiah. 
When I heard these things, I sat down and wept. For some days I mourned and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Nehemiah, from Nehemiah 1. For they all made us afraid, saying, Their hand shall be weakened from the work, that it be not done. Therefore, O God, strengthen mine hands. Nehemiah. Nehemiah 6, 9. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I. Send me, Isaiah, Isaiah 6, 8. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish, the disciples. Matthew 8, 25, the disciples. Matthew 9, 27. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. This is two blind men. The two blind men. From Matthew 9, 27. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me from Matthew 15 25 a desperate mother Lord help me and the apostle said unto the Lord increase our faith Luke 17 5 the apostles of course and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. The publican. The publican. Luke 18, 13. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Jesus, Jesus, Luke 24, 34. One Chronicles 4, 10, Jabaz. And Jabaz called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. 1 Chronicles 4.10 Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great people? Solomon. 1, King, 1 Kings 3.10. That's Solomon. Luke 23.42 And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. The other criminal. The other criminal. There's 40 of these, so we have quite a few more to go, but we're going to press on. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom 
and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Of course, that is the Lord Jesus. Second Kings 4, 35. Then he returned and walked into the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed seven times and the child opened his eyes. Elisha. Elisha. So there we have it. There we have several of the 40 prayers by several people that were mentioned. And here's another one from Acts 940. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed. And turning him to the body, said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter. She sat up. Acts 9.40. 1 Chronicles 17.16 And David the king came and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is mine house that thou hast brought me hither? David, 1 Chronicles 17, 16. And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, with lifting up of their hands. And they bowed their heads and worshiped the Lord with their faces to the ground. All the people. All the people. Okay, I think that is it. I think that is. Oh, no, we left one out. And I don't know how we could leave Paul out because we can't leave out Paul. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath, wrath and doubting. Paul. 1 Timothy 2.8. 1 Timothy 2.8. So there we have several, mentioned several prayer, people of prayer in the Bible. Paul, Jesus, Peter, Joshua, Ezra, Elisha, The Lord, Jesus Christ, the other criminal, Solomon, Jabat, the prayer of Jabaz, Jesus again, the apostles, a desperate mother, two blind men, the disciples, Isaiah, Nehemiah, Hezekiah, Elijah, David, Hannah, Gideon, Moses, Jacob, Eleazar, Hannah, if I didn't already say, okay, say her name. But yeah, there we have it. Several people of prayer from the biblical text. And of course, this does not cover them all. This barely scratches the surface. This is a lot of the people, many of the people of prayer, but not all the people of prayer, and a lot of the prayers, but not all of the prayers. So this is just the beginning, something we touched on today in regards to the people of prayer in the early church, in the New Testament, and prior to the New Testament, in the temple, Moses, Joshua, Solomon, David, 
Hannah, Nehemiah, all of those guys are in the Old Testament. And yes, so those were in all likelihood revolved around temple prayers, congregational prayers, and meeting prayers. So we wanted to stop today and observe some people of prayer in the biblical text. And we have named quite a few and we have read quite a few of the Bible verses that are prayers. And next week we will probably talk about the posture of prayer. Um, or the next time we do a video, we will talk about the posture of prayer. And then we will move forward because this is our year-long study of the importance of prayer or the importance of prayer study tips. And we are digging into prayer for the balance of the calendar year. At some point, we will write our own prayers with help from the biblical text. We will also look at some great prayers from the biblical text, such as Jesus's prayer in the midst of his final crisis, Solomon's prayer prior to, after building the temple and the dedication of the temple, and Paul's prayers in the New Testament, and Daniel's prayer in the Old Testament. So we're going to look at next, well, yeah, next time, let's look at some more of the lengthy prayers in the Old and the New Testament, mainly those being of Solomon, Daniel, Hannah, Nehemiah, and in the New Testament, Jesus and Paul. So they have some rather lengthy prayers that we need to take a hard, hard look at. So this is Sonia McCullough Lockridge signing out for the Good News Sunday show. The good news is, the good news is we still have time. We still have time to align our lives with the Holy Word of God. We still have time to accept acknowledge, adhere to his most holy and righteous word. We still have time, you guys. I know it seems like time is short, but we still have time. At some point, we won't have time, but for right now, it appears as if we still have time, and we could not have time, because we know not either the day nor the hour. So, we need to be prepared. This is Sonia signing out for the Good News Sunday show. Thank you and be blessed in the Lord on this very day. Thank you.